I want to thank every one of our prayer partners, every Center Church member, everyone who prayed for us during the time that we were battling with this, uh, with the air conditioner, the main air conditioner inside the church. The Sanctuary AC is not a typical AC. It's a chiller unit. It's a, it's a large unit. I'm going to show you how big this air conditioner is. This is the, right here behind me, this room that you see here, this wall, or let me put it this way. See this, this room right here? This is actually the air conditioner. There's a chiller unit outside that runs cold water. The cold water is piped in through these pipes. That's actually cold water being piped in to the unit. It goes inside this room, and I'm gonna show you the inside of the room here in just a minute. You're gonna see the big fan that blows AC in. All the noise that you had been hearing this time on the on the center air unit, I want you to see what has been taking place. This has been happening for over 10 years and it's been a, a troubling item. So your prayers, our prayers and believing God worked, worked. But let me show you what happened here because it's important for you to see what this unit is right behind me and what it does. I'm gonna walk you right through it. So here's the unit. This is actually the computer system that runs the entire AC system. Uh, for the main sanctuary. This computer unit receives power from this junction box, which allows us to do bypass. What was happening here is this connection right here is, is a brand new connection that we replaced. The old connection was literally inside this hole and it was shorting out inside the unit, inside the wall. This was an error that was done by the installers, the original installers of the system was, had installed the system wrong. And I hate to put it that way, but that's exactly what, it, what had happened. You can't see it here because it's so dark, but the line comes, is fed in through this corner right there. And from right there, it was shorting, literally touching the metal and cutting through the line and shorting out right there. And that was seen uh, when the engineer found that there was a problem with this line, but didn't figure out what it was. And Pastor Michael Caballero got down on his knees, literally down on his knees and saw that there was charring on the actual wall, on the actual wall that was charring. So literally this was so dangerous. And for over 10 years plus, this has been an error in causing the system to trip and either not go on or turn on full speed. And look how big this fan is. This is the fan. This is a fan. It's about eight feet high, about eight feet high, seven feet wide, and look how deep it is. This is one fan and pulls cold air from this unit right here, pulls it out and feeds it through. This is the actual engine. This is the engine that runs everything and turns it. And that's where the power was coming in from the outside of the room, inside the room and causing the, uh, the air to flow through. And the sound that we had in the sanctuary was this huge fan. This is one big motor fan. This was running at 100%. And that's why it always sounded like there was a hurricane inside our sanctuary. Now, there isn't anybody that, you know, we're going to blame or we can blame other than uh, the inspector who inspected the unit should have caught that there was an error with the way it was installed in the back area. But this was over 10, 15 years ago. How, whenever it was that this system was installed, that's the best we can figure out the problem was or sometime between then and uh and now that work that had been done on that which the best we can figure was was done over 10 years ago and that's what's caused this error this system but it was our prayers and believing god and standing together that the lord has seen us through this that we can fix this system so i want you to know i thank god for you i thank god for every one of you that have been praying that we solved this issue and the issue is now solved. And in Jesus name, we will not have an issue with this again. I'm believing that for many, many more years, 
We won't have any problem with this entire system whatsoever. So continue to pray that the Lord continue to take care and give us the wisdom, the insight, the understanding to be able to solve these problems and that, and that his great guide and direction helps us. So that way we can continue to bring quality, quality ministry, anointed ministry to the entire Rio Grande Valley from Center Church here in FAR throughout the entire valley. I thank you dearly for your prayers because that day that we set ourselves that our face was turned to God and we were believing that God was going to show us finally what this issue was. If it wasn't for that, you were praying, we would still have this issue. So keep praying, lift up the ministry and ask that God continue to guide and direct us. Amen. I love you guys greatly and thank you for your time. And thank you for your partnership. God bless.